Good afternoon from Animal Kingdom, where we're gonna do what today? Rafiki's Planet Watch! Yes, it opens back up, so we're gonna go today. check it out. Today. Today. We today. scored a fast pass two days ago. Yes. I know people were asking like when I got the fast passes. Sometimes they have, but two days ago today. Yeah, so they're still available. Uh, we're gonna do that. We're gonna check out some uh, Lion King treats, right? Or some treats in general? Yeah, I'm not sure what we're gonna get, but we'll try we'll some decide. treats. And then uh, ride a few rides and go from there. Yay! All right, let's go check it out. All right, going through the annual pass holder entrance. We'll see if my Forky Magic Band does anything. All right, let's see if my Forky Magic Band does anything. No, nope, yep, you let me in. <laughs> so once again, my Forky Magic Band Zip zero. Did nothing except get me into the park, but like the lady said, is probably the most important thing. Yeah. I mean, um, the lights are okay. The lights are cool, but if it doesn't get you in the park, it's no good, right? Yeah. We'll, we'll go with that. And here we are at Disney's Animal Kingdom. And there is the Wilderness Explorers, which Jen actually did that the last time. We'll put a link on there. There's two videos. Yes, two links. She had to break it up into two days. So walking into the store, we've noticed that we've, well, these might be new, I think. I don't think I've seen these, but we've got the Harambe. Newer, yeah, Harambe Wildlife Reserve mug. Kilimanjaro Safari. And there's no price. <laughs> All right, thank you. And then it looks like we've got a new Everest mug. It's kind of cool. With the Yeti on the back. That one's $14.99. $14.99. Still don't know about that one, though. There's a new box set called Disney Hugs. Look at all those great hugs. Those are pretty awesome hugs. Ah, look at Pooh and Christopher Robin. Ah, <laughs> Chip and Dale. Chip and Dale. So taking a look at the limited edition pins, we're pretty much caught up to speed, except for that one, the tailspin pin. I'm going to have to grab that one. I've got that one. Oh no, the wishables. I, I think we're done with those for a while. So for each special edition lion that they sell, Disney donates $5 to the Wildlife Conservation Network to help lion recovery. Specifically the lions. Yeah. It's like this, like, what material is that? Uh, it's not, it's really soft. It feels like burlap, but I know it's not. It's like a thicker. Yeah. It's cute. So they added another cozy knit. Remember the last time it was Bambi? She's so soft. Now they've got Nana from Peter so Pan. Soft. Yeah, that is very soft. Oh my god. I love <laughs> Nana so bad all my life. <laughs> also looks like they got the Cheshire cat in cozy knit form. He's They're soft as well. Soft. So we made a donation to save the lions and we got this really nice button. So when we bought our pin, we made sure to donate to the lions. And they got all the Lion King merch for the movie that's coming out. And some really creepy Funko Pop. Oh, the little Simba ears. Because I hate mini ears because they hurt your Oh yeah, that's much more comfy. Like a band. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. For the heat. And they have a Heart of a Lioness shirt, which it. is Nala. That's cool. It's priced at thirty-five dollars. I feel like. Got, uh, oh yeah. The All the Lion King. Sante Sana. Squash banana. Squash banana. Leave a really cool Fiki shirt. Backpack. I love the backpack. They've got all sorts of fun stuff for Lion yeah, King. He's really cute. And then they got the Lion King logo. I like it. Which one do you see there? I like all the Lion King ones. Like, I, oh wait, this is the double sided. Yeah, the one that so, says Hakuna Matata. But I love all of them. And then I do, I like the mermaid ones too. The one that looks like a VHS tape? Yeah. So I think for lunch, we're gonna check out the macaroni and cheese it's so good. booth. I don't even know what it's called. What's it called, do you know? Three spoons? Eight spoons. Eight spoons? You're only off by five spoons. So 
they have baked macaroni and cheese. You can get it served with pulled pork, shrimp, or sweet chili sauce. And they also have your pretzel with cheese. Oh yeah. So we went to Eight Spoons and got the baked mac and cheese. Two of them. And I can already smell some garlic, so danger, Will Robinson. For you. Yeah. Let's see. It is garlicky. A little bit. It's garlickier than when I had it ages ago. But it's still really good. Yeah, it's not bad. It's cheesy. It doesn't taste like like typical mac and cheese that you get at a theme park. It tastes homemade, not not like craft. Yeah. It's good. I like it. Oh, here comes Kevin. Hi, Kevin. <laughs> oh, Kevin. <laughs> What is he doing? He's posing for the camera. I guess it's a she. What on earth? Mighty Roar Simba. It looks like he roars. My for real friends. How does that work? Oh, he's soft but hard at the same time. What is... Put your hand in there. Oh. Hi, Simba. All right, Jen wanted me to start recording because she's going to show me something. I saw it and I screamed and I almost got it. What is it? It's some animal we don't have here at Animal Kingdom that I oh so love. Is it a sloth? Don't tell me they sold out. See the backpack? What? Oh, it's a sloth backpack. They have like five of them. I like the giraffe. Uh, no, I do not. No worries. How cute he is. Aww. Too hot for Florida, but he's cuter than Is it a backpack? He is yeah. a backpack, so he could but store stuff in it. Looks him. like it's bigger than the Rainforest Cafe one. Yeah. Too hot for Florida, though. Yeah. All that on your back. It's cute. I know. I saw it and I was like, oh, I forgot to record it the last time. <laughs> and here are the Siaming. Oh, look, he's swinging over to his friend. It's pretty fun. Last time they were under refurbishment, but they are back in their exhibit. And I think it's time that we ride Expedition Everest. We go say hi to our Yeti friend. It says, beware, Yeti trespassers will be killed by Betty the Yeti. And there's the Yeti. Oh, I wonder if that's what he'll look like. Oh my gosh, is that his footprint? We're going to see the Yeti. We're gonna see the Yeti. Oh, it's so peaceful. Sorry about my hair. Wearing a hat. Oh, God. Here we go. my hat. I know, I like, want to hold on, but I also need to hold on to the hats. Uh, <laughs> oh, somebody lost their somebody hat. Lost their hat. Yeah. All right, here we go. <gasps> oh, that's ominous. I wonder what could happen. There's Pandora and Grand Destino. Yeah. Oh boy, here we go. Whoa. Whoa. Oh no. Oh no. Look at all the hair ties. Oh no. Tearing up our track. Oh no. Oh no. I guess that means we're stuck. stuck. <laughs> Are we stuck? This is taking a little Typically we go right about now. Oh god. 
Oh, okay. Now we're going. Oh my god! Oh man! Oh, oh the G forces! Oh. 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 oh! Here comes the Yeti! But this time we did. Next time, maybe not so much. Did you wear your sunglasses the whole time? I did. Oh, I was getting nervous they're gonna fly off. Nah. Oh. As they fly off now. <laughs> As I put that back on, and they fly off. And now we are going into Africa for our fast pass soon. Yeah, Rafiki's Planet Watch. We have a fast pass. Now we're not sure if we have to take the train and then fast pass. Not sure. We'll find out. So Jen wants to show me a hidden, what is it, Baloo? Baloo, a kind friend showed it to me. A hidden Baloo. Not a hidden Mickey, but a hidden Baloo. Oh, and is he laying down? I think so, yes. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. Behind Tamu and Tamu. By the yes, curtain. there's the pin place in Africa. And right behind this curtain. And some child throwing something. So at Tamu Tamu, they have a Simba Sunset, which is Dole Whip pineapple with watermelon, strawberry, and coconut flavored syrup. I think I'm gonna try that. See how it is. And they have a resident lizard just hanging out on the sign. So this is what I'm getting here, the Simba Sunset. Let's see if it looks as good as that. So it does kind of look like the picture. It's a little melted, but let's see how it is. Um, there's a little coconut, just a little bit. Just a little bit? Yeah. I don't taste the watermelon. That's my favorite, so. So, so thoughts? Yeah, so we just swapped out the battery because it died. But I'm tasting a lot of Dole Whip, and I'm tasting a lot of coconut, but I don't taste any watermelon. So it's like a coconut Dole Whip. Coconut pineapple Dole Whip, I should say. Imagine if they made a watermelon Dole Whip. Oh. That would be pretty good. That would be pretty good, a watermelon Dole Whip. But yeah, this, it's okay. It's not anything that I'm gonna get like super excited about and be like, oh, I gotta get it every time I come. He's trying it because in the last Wilderness Explorers, I told you I don't like coconut, so he's trying it out for us. So now we're headed over to Rafiki's Planet Watch because I think we have to board the train first and then use our fast pass. I kind of want this for when we get a house. Nice Gus Simba on it. It's really pretty. All these are pretty though. Well, I guess this is actually Simba. That is so fun. $55. They won't fade either. They're stainless steel. Oh. It's the fun game of where's the... I don't even know what that's called though. It's like a little... Yeah. yeah. Where's he at? Or she? He's up here. We were totally off. It was the other way. Other way. Touch. <laughs> oh my God. His eyes are opening and closing. I'm gonna try to feed him a grub. You want a grub? I think he's sleeping. Is he sleeping now? <laughs> it's like, we oh, there, he is. there he is. Want a grub? <laughs> Let me try. Alright, alright, alright. I'll let you try. Buddy! Want a grub? He's just showing it in his mouth. <laughs> There he is. Now you're teasing him. <laughs> Gulp. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's the coolest thing. So, handmade by 
Gorette. <laughs> she did a really good job. I just don't want to butcher their names, that's all. But, like, look, they write their name in there. Oh, that's cool. And it all goes to them. To so, Gorette? Or? So this Blessing Basket items helps artisans exit poverty, so it goes to them. Okay, cool. Through our graduate poverty and prosperity wages models. And it tells you the country they're from, Uganda. Yeah, Uganda, and it's 60 bucks. Hey, Jen. Huh? I kind of like this guy. Uh, if we had somewhere to put them, I totally would. Oh, this looks like Kevin. Oh, it does look like Kevin. It looks like Kevin. And they have new handmade jewelry for sale. About $46. Very vibrant color. Bracelets. Do they have any keychain stuff? You think they have any keychains? I wish these had the place. Yeah. Because I like the smaller ones. This is the fast pass line for Kilimanjaro Safaris. And I look for fast passes, not until 7 p.m. tonight. That's just how busy it is. This is a very busy, busy day at Animal Kingdom. Now it's time to go visit Rafiki's Planet Watch for the first time. When did it close? Do you remember? Um, a few months ago, and I was really sad. Maybe a year? Has it been a year? No. I don't think it's been a year. At least a while. It's been several months. So now, in order to get to Rafiki's Planet Watch, we have to ride the Wildlife Express. I know, it's been a while. It's exciting. So, what do you want to see at Rafiki's Planet Watch? The goats. You want to see the goats? Do you think they took anything away? Yeah, that would be really fun. There's if the goats. A goat every time I went out there. He just stands next to you and he just wants to be petted. Oh. He, he knows like the kids. You're not a child. Yeah. yeah I don't like. <laughs> <laughs> so he knows he's going to be treated right? Yeah. <laughs> Here comes the Wildlife Express. It's back open. Finally. <laughs> It's only been eight months. Hello. Coming back. I want a front seat. You want a front seat? Yeah. All right. And welcome aboard the Wildlife Express. For a safe journey, remember to stay seated. Keep it's already ready. Arms, arms, Is it? Right yeah, you're right. Train. Sit all the way back against the bench. And please be sure to watch your door. Asante, welcome aboard the Wildlife Express with service to Rafiki's Planet Watch. Here, you'll discover a wide oh, range wow. of animal adventures from the affection section, where you can get up close and personal with domesticated animals. Tradition of animals and animation reaches all the way back to Walt Disney himself and his long standing passion for conservation. He believed it was important that we protect our wildlife and preserve our natural. There's a rhino! Oh. Wow. There's another rhino. Wow. And his animators modeled characters from the film after the movements and natural elephants of their real life counterparts. Even with the latest advances in the the elephant. This tradition We are now approaching Conservation Station at Rafiki's Planet Watch. For your safety yeah, and safety of those around you, please <laughs> sit all the way back against the bench and avoid leaning uh. out toward the railing. Remain seated until the train comes to a complete stop. Here we are. Rafiki's Planet Watch. So we're gonna go. Even though there's thunder, we're gonna just do it. Let's do it. Let's go, go, go. Alright. We found. Ah. Found a little break. Oh, this is where the, one of the wilderness explorer badges is the nature one where we found all the animals in the, oh. the park. Yeah. All right, ready? Yeah. Let's go, let's go. Follow Rafiki in the rain. Hi, Rafiki. Oh my gosh. We're here in the rain for the animation experience. 
So here we are at Rafiki's Planet Watch, hiding from the thunder and the rain. Looks like they got a bunch of fresh paint. It's nice and clean. But now we're gonna go in for the animation experience. It looks like for the most part they kept a lot of the things that were here before. But that's gonna be the animation area. So far it doesn't seem like Fast Pass helps you at all. Because we're still waiting in the normal queue. Which kinda sucks because this place is not kinda designed for a queue. It's very tiny. Oh there's Pua. We can learn to draw Pua or Cusco. Or Luis. Naveen. So they've got a skunk that you can look at and they tell you facts about the skunks while you're waiting. Barker. Barker, is that his name? Aww. And here we are at the animation experience. They give you a little clipboard. Piece of paper. Yeah, that's a nice one. Yeah. Thought there would be desks, but no desks. And I wonder who will be drawing today. That's where the animator sits. And they have these big jumbo screens. Looks like 75 inch TVs sprinkled around. Here's our animator. to conserve energy. Lions can sleep up to 20 hours a day. Bakari likes to lie on grass, lie on rocks, lie in a shady spot. Bakari seems to get comfortable anywhere. In the wild, food is hard to come by. Not that a male lion would know. The lionesses typically do the hunting and all the caregiving for the family. With all that the females do for the pride, you may be asking, what exactly does this leave for the males to do? <coughs> oh yeah, there's that. <coughs> and more of that. <coughs> Dakari will usually instigate all the noise. <coughs> Soon after Kamari and Kinsey will join in, <coughs> bonding the pride together. <coughs> Lions in the wild are struggling due to conflict with people, over resources and loss of habitat. The Disney Conservation Fund has supported lion conservation for over 20 years, helping organizations find solutions that benefit people, lions and their habitats across eight countries. Come visit Dakari on the Kilimanjaro safaris to see him in action or not in action. Learn more about lions and how you can help. Now that is something to roar about. All right, that was pretty awesome, right guys? There's my scar. Goodbye. 
How's yours? I like my face part. I don't like my main part. He looks like he's on fire. I don't know how to do jaggy things. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Well, that'll do it for Rafiki's Planet Watch. I'm glad it's open. I'm glad we get to see the animals again. And the animation experience is pretty cool. It does feel like it's a little thrown together and a little cramped, so maybe that'll work itself out. But it does give something, you know, to do when you come up here other than seeing the animals. So I think it'll definitely increase the foot traffic. But uh, yeah, it was fun. It was. Never drew scar before, that's a first. No, that was hard. Yeah, it was very difficult. <laughs> Preserving the magic of nature begins with you. And we're back. Alrighty. So now we're back in Harambe, heading back to the park entrance. That'll do it for us here at Animal Kingdom today. We did some pretty cool stuff. Yeah. It wasn't a long day. Just enough for us to get an idea of what they did with Rafiki's Planet Watch. Your thoughts? I, um, I think they did a good job, but like, it felt a little rushed together sort of thing. Like there was no tables or anything. Yeah, so. I kind of brought the camera because I thought there was going to be a table so I could prop the camera up like I typically do. So we're not sure how that video turned out. We'll, we'll see. see. We'll see how it is. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we just saw Rafiki's Planet Watch. It looks like the goats were all there. It was a little yeah. wet so we didn't go into the petting area. Um, yeah, the llama was still there. Yeah. No worries. Check out some there. of the uh, the cool, cool merchandise that they had out. Um, but yeah, I think we're going to uh, get out of here. Uh, go ahead and edit this video so it drops. And uh, get ready for our special event tonight, which will end up being the next video on Monday. Teaser! So be ready for that. We're going to be going to that tonight. I'm excited. Uh, I'm excited. Too. I gotta go nap now. Yes. So if you like that video, be sure to give it a nice big thumbs up. And definitely be sure to hit the subscribe button if you like these adventures. Uh, we release a new video every Monday and Friday. Uh, so this one will end up being Friday. And then our special one will be on Monday. Monday. So uh, until next time, see you real soon. Bye.